Hello, and welcome to another post from Dr. Blake's Healing Soul. Today we're talking about orthotic devices and manufacturing them for various patient-specific needs. Um, I want to focus today on what we call the rear foot post. The rear foot post is a stabilizing factor in the orthotic. It helps uh, take the sort of round heel cup and make it a very solid against the ground so that if you did put it up on a uh, on a um, flat surface or in the shoe it is uh, solid in contact with the ground. You can see that the platform of the uh, post is, um, you know, parallel parallel with the platform at the at the end of the orthotic device, making it a extremely stable uh, uh, surface. Uh, the the post can be ground where you create motion in the post. In fact, the original hard plastics had to all have three or four degrees of rear foot motion. Now with the much softer shoes, you can uh, pretty much get away with no motion in the post since the shoe will have some motion. If the patient complains of, of shock absorption problems uh, you, or uh, jarring problems, you, you can easily uh, grind motion in the post. You grind it from the, the lateral one half here because um, you always want the, the medial or the arch side of the post to line up with the the front edge of the plastic um, at the at the end of the orthotic. When you're um, settling on on using a post, you, of course you can only use it for uh, a athletic type orthotic. Um, you don't want uh, it in a dress shoe uh, because it will lift you you out of the shoe. So I hope this explains a little bit about the uh, rear foot post. Uh, this, this one is made of burco cork material which is the same sort of cork and rubber uh, composition that uh, was uh, that they make Birkenstock shoes. It's a, it's a nice, it's very durable and very shock absorbing. People do not feel hard when they land on it and uh, so it, it does absorb the stress uh, coming into the foot. Alright, thank you very much and I hope this has been helpful for you.